Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Now if I look different than in my thumbnail, it is because this is my third time filming this video. I don't know what happened the first two times, but when I filmed it, there was audio and then when I imported it into iMovie, there wasn't audio and then I couldn't recover. And I'm just not good with technology, okay? It is not my forte. I don't like it. It hates me. We hate each other. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 weird slash cool slash interesting and gardening facts that I just wanted to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Now, the first one is that rhubarb and watermelon are actually considered vegetables and not fruits, which is kind of crazy if you ask me because I feel like if you ask people what their favorite like summertime fruit is especially they're going to say watermelon and it's not a fruit guys it's a vegetable but on on the bright side at least you're getting more vegetables in right right <laughs> number two is that eggplants and potatoes are from the same family which is the nightshade family and i always think it's cool when two different kinds of vegetables are considered the same family when they grow completely differently so potatoes grow underground and they have leaves that grow up and then eggplants they kind of grow like tomatoes do almost vine like but they are considered the same nightshade family number three i feel like is a little more common but i wanted to mention it anyway and it's that tomatoes are considered fruit not vegetables and they're the most popular fruit in the world so watermelons are vegetables tomatoes are fruit guys we, we just have the whole thing wrong apparently Number four is that broccoli and cauliflower are the only vegetables that can also be considered flowers. Number five is probably my one of my favorite, my second to favorite fact on here. Number nine is my number one favorite, but number five I thought is pretty cool. And it's that a sunflower is not just one flower. Both the fuzzy brown center and the classic yellow petals are actually one to 2,000 flowers that are being held down together by the same stalk. Number six is that there are more microorganisms in one teaspoon of soil than there are people in the world, which is absolutely fascinating to me. And it's a big reason why a lot of gardeners say that when you are having problems in your garden or you're not having as fruitful of a harvest, you wanna make sure you're feeding your soil and you're not feeding the plants because if you don't have good soil, then you're not gonna have a good harvest and there is a difference between dirt and soil. <laughs> Number seven is that winter squash and summer squash are actually grown at the same time. And this is one that I just recently learned <laughs> this year. I always thought, cause you know, fall times, you think of pumpkins and squash, like acorn squash soup and like all that kind of stuff. You think of them like in the fall or winter time, but actually pumpkins are grown during the summer acorn squash spaghetti squash all those um, more harder version of squashes they're all grown during the summertime in addition to summer squashes now the only reason they're called summer or winter squashes is because that's the time of year that they are eaten so if you leave a zucchini on the plant and you let it get big like a pumpkin so for instance, if you take a zucchini squash, you can leave it on the plant and it'll get as big and as hard as a pumpkin. The only thing about summer squashes is that when they get to that point, they no longer taste good. Um, they actually have a very bitter taste to them when you let them grow to be that big, which is why they're called summer squashes because you harvest them when they're still on the smaller side and they still have that nice soft skin. Same thing with pumpkins and acorn squash, spaghetti squash, all of those kind of squashes. If you harvest them when their skin is still soft, they won't last as long, first of all. And second of all, their taste is going to be completely underdeveloped versus if you leave them on the plant and let them grow to uh, grow until they're complete and their skin is nice and hardened and stuff like that. So winter and summer squash are grown at the same time. They're just called winter and summer squash because those are the seasons of the year that you usually consume them. Number eight is that apples, pears, peaches, cherries, raspberries, and strawberries are all part of the rose family, which is always pretty cool to think that I have more than one kind of rose growing in my garden right now. Number nine is my favorite fact on this list. So if you guys see my orchid here, I have another one over there as well. Both of them were gifted to me and I love orchids. I was scared of them at first. I would always kill them, but now I feel like I've 
we, we have an understanding and I can keep them alive now. But anyway, vanilla beans actually come from an orchid plant. And there are certain varieties of orchids that smell like different desserts. So there's one that smells like cinnamon, there's one that smells like chocolate, there's the one that has the vanilla beans that smells like vanilla, which I think is pretty cool. And I think I'm gonna try to be on the hunt for one of these orchid plants because one, they're already cool, but two, if they could smell like cinnamon or chocolate or vanilla, I would definitely be down to have one of those back here. <laughs> Number 10 again is a more of a common one, but I wanted to mention it, is that you could change the color of a hydrangea plant by altering the pH level of the soil. So more alkaline soil is gonna give you those nice pink blooms, and then more acidic soil is gonna give you those bluer, more purple hues of flowers. So, and I always think it's fascinating that you can just change the color of a petal by altering the pH levels in soil. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video works this time. If not, I'm gonna wave the white flag and call it a day. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you are ever on a game show and they ask you what a watermelon is, now you know to make sure it's a vegetable and not a fruit. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.